Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to work the Celtic weave stitch in the round. Last week I showed you how to do it just going straight back and forth. And in that process you had to work on the back side, which meant you had to work some back post treble crochets. Well, I wanted to show you how to do this stitch in the round because it's actually a really cool stitch to do in the round because you can't really see your seam as you're working up. So here was the beginning of my round and everything looks seamless. I actually just finished this round up here so it does carry over like this. But anyway it's a beautiful stitch so I wanted to show you how to do it as it is a different process than working it straight back and forth. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future tutorials and projects and please give this a like by giving it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's get started! In order to begin working the Celtic stitch in the round, you need to start with a chain or a foundation row in multiples of four. So I've begun a chain of 28 stitches. Next, you're going to connect without twisting your chain. You're going to connect to your first stitch with a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. Once you chain two, we're going to double crochet. That'll count as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet all the way around. So you should have 28 double crochets if you count your first chain two as a double crochet. Once you have 28 stitches worked up in the round, you're going to want to slip stitch to your first, the top of your first chain two. Chain two. Now we're going to do our treble crochet. So we're going to skip our first two stitches and we're going to work a treble crochet front post around this stitch. Do another treble crochet into the next stitch. And now we have to go back and we need to work into these last two stitches that we skipped. So we're going to go all the way back here and again work a front post treble crochet. Again, do another treble crochet front post into this next stitch and you kind of have to search for it. It gets a little tricky but it'll get easier as you work up your project. Okay, so now we're going to repeat that pattern. We're going to skip these two stitches. You can see where we worked our stitch here. So we're going to skip this one and this one and work into the third stitch. So do your front post treble crochet and then do another front post treble crochet in the next stitch. And then go back and work your front post treble crochet into this stitch here. And then do another front post treble crochet into that next hidden stitch. So that's how our pattern's going to go. Continue this until you get to the end of the row. I'm coming up to the last four stitches. So you can see this is where our chain two was. So we're going to work right before that. Again, we're skipping our the first the next two stitches, and we're going to work our treble cro our front post <laughs> treble crochet. Excuse me, around this post. And then we're going to work it around our chain two. And then again, going back to work those stitches that we skipped over. Now 
Now we want to slip stitch into our first stitch. We're going to skip the chain two. This will give it a more cleaner look if you slip stitch here instead of the top of your chain two. So now we're going to chain two again. This row of our repeat gets a little bit tricky. What we're going to have to do first is we're going to start off with our front post treble crochet and we're going to start into, we're skipping our first four stitches actually. So we're going to come way over here and you're going to work these up at the very end of this round. So you're skipping these and you'll work into them at the end of the round. Okay, so skipping your first four stitches, we're going to do a front post treble crochet around the fifth stitch. And then do a front post treble crochet around the next stitch. These you kind of have to dig out a little bit. Now we're going to go back. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. We have to work a front post treble crochet around these two, but we actually have to go in behind these stitches to do it. So you're going to come in behind and work through here. So I find the easiest way to do this is to kind of turn your work like this and you can see the stitch from the top. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Let me see if I can get this through. So I, I insert my hook and then I kind of turn my work so I can look at it this way and pull it up. And then I pull up a loop and then complete that front post treble crochet. So again, we're gonna have to do the same thing for the next stitch. So you can see this is the one we're going to work into. We just worked into this one. So again, we're going to go behind these two stitches. And we're going to insert our hook here. And you have to pick it up so that it goes behind those um, first two front post treble crochets we did in the round. So go ahead and complete the treble crochet. And now you can start to see that it's taking form. We've got some going this way, and we've got this guy going this way. So again, I will show you how we do this. So we're going to skip these two stitches, and we're going to work into these two. So again, we're going to do a front post treble crochet around this one. This is a little bit easier. And then we're going to work a front post treble crochet around this one, the very next one. Now we have to work our front post treble crochet around these two stitches, so we have to work in between here. So we're going to insert our hook down here and then pick it up. So we'll start our front post treble crochet, go behind this, but it's a front post treble crochet, so we need to pick it up from this side and pull up your loop just like so. Okay, so we're gonna insert, we're gonna go behind these two stitches, insert our hook, but we're gonna go between this and the back of our work. We're going to pick up this stitch and kind of bump it up a little so we can see what we're doing. Yarn over and pull through and then complete that front post treble crochet. It's not a back post treble crochet. We are not working from the back. We are still working from the front. We're just going under these two loops. So hopefully that helps clarify. I'll do one more because this is pretty tricky and then I'll let you finish up your row. So we're gonna find our, we're skipping over these two. These are the ones we did first. We're skipping these two and we're gonna work a front post treble crochet into this one. Work one right into the next stitch. And then yarn over and we're going to work into these two. 
So come from behind, pick it up so you can see what you're doing, and complete your front post treble crochet. work it into the next one. So go ahead and finish up this round and I will meet back with you at the end to show you how we complete it. So now I'm coming up to the end of the second round and you can see that here is my chain two and then you can see the very first two stitches that we skipped and that we want to work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on. Like I said we would finish those at the very end of the round So go ahead and work your front post treble crochet into the first one and then the second stitch of this round. Okay, and then we want to go back and of course finish our row with the last two stitches of the round. So now again you can still see that chain two and we want to slip stitch into the first treble crochet that we made of the previous round. Chain two and you can really start to see the Celtic weave stitch take shape. Now from here it just gets easier and easier. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to keep repeating all your way up. So we're going to skip the first four. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to do our first front post treble crochet here. And then our second front post treble crochet into the sixth stitch. And now we simply want to go back and find these two hidden ones. And we're going to do a front post treble crochet into that one and we're going to save the first two stitches again for the end of the round. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you back for the final row of the repeat. Coming up to the end of this round you can see we're going to skip over we just did those two so we're going to skip these two stitches you can see our chain two so we're going to work into these two treble crochets so again doing a front post treble crochet into that first one it's the first stitch from our last round or the round that we're on currently I should say and then we're going to front post treble crochet into here I'm sorry that would be our first and second stitch from the previous round Okay, so then we're going to go back and finish up the last two stitches. And you can see that chain two. So you can either work around both of them, which I like to do just to kind of hide it, or you can just work around the first one. Totally fine. Now we're going to slip stitch again. We're going to go to slip stitch into the first treble crochet that we have here. Chain two. And you're just going to continue repeating the last two rounds. So again, we're going to skip, you're always going to skip those first four stitches. And so in this case, then we're going to do our first front post treble crochet right here into our fifth stitch and into that next one. So then you can just keep um, following up the pattern until it's as big as you want it. So again we're going to work behind these and into here and we'll finish up the first and second stitch when we come back around. 
at the end of the round. So that's how you work the Celtic weave stitch in the round. I hope this helped guys. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. If you have any other projects you'd like to see, let me know and please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all of my current projects. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful day.